Hello everyone, welcome to another Energy Bar Toolkit video tutorial. This time I'll be talking about Sequence Renderer, the third renderer of Energy Bar Toolkit asset. Before we start, I have to mention that we've been through many options of previous renderers and I will skip to describe them. If you haven't seen previous tutorials, you can find them in the description below. Ok, as usually, let's start with Empty Scene. Create new empty game object and change its name to Sequence Renderer. Our renderer is placed in Energy Bar Toolkit, Scripts, Energy Bar Sequence Renderer. As before, drag it to inspector view of our object, and again, like in previous renderers, you'll see four sections. Textures, Position and Size, Appearance and Effects. And as before, I'll be talking about differences. In this tutorial, the main difference according to previous renderers is texture section. Let's take a closer look to see what we can do with it. Render method field allows you to choose between two ways of creating our sequence. First one is grid. This renderer method allows you to create a bar that is composited from one texture. Our texture is placed in Energy Bar Toolkit, Example, Textures, Sequence Bar, and Grid. As you see, this texture is just composition of dozens of pictures representing following states of bar values in form of grid. Now drag this texture to Grid Texture field. In grid width field, enter number of columns in the first line starting from left. You should count 7. In grid height, enter the number of rows counting from top left. And this is 9. In frame count field, enter the exact number of textures in case where our grid isn't completely filled. Like here. In other case, you can leave it empty. We have 59 pictures in grid. Changing value current will move between all of them. And here we have a fantastic bar composed from 59 frames. Next render method is sequence. In case of this option, our bar will be built of separate images dragged into the element fields. Remember to enter number of elements you place here. After you do this, it will behave exactly the same when you change its value. As you see, you have two methods to build your energy bar, and it's up to you which one you choose. Both of them works fine, but grid method, in most cases, is just more convenient. Rest of available options here are the same as in previous renderers, and I think there is no need to show how they work. And this concludes this short energy bar toolkit sequence renderer tutorial. I hope you found it interesting and helpful and I wish you to create many great energy bars to your game.